welcome back to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, this one is going to be in Cinema 4D, but it's going to have uh, applications to uh, any kind of software program you're using to do 3D rendering. So, um, in my case, I like to use Unreal and Twin Motion if I'm doing architectural visualization. Um, but if you haven't had a lot of experience, you'll find that um, there's some there's some problems that happen if you just bring in a model doing it kind of like in a quick fashion from Cinema 4D where you make um, just single planes as your walls of your of your house or your building. So I really wanted to just show you quickly how you uh, can set up your architectural uh, model so that it'll play well inside those programs. Uh, one of the biggest things that happens is uh, you'll see a lot of things like light leak, um, which I'm showing an example of right now on the screen. So let's, let's show you how to make a model to avoid having that kind of a light leak problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a cube. And um, you'll see my dimensions over here are in feet. I'm just going to kind of drag this out to be um, kind of like a room scale, maybe like a 10 foot ceiling and something like, you know, close to 20 feet on each side. And uh, we'll just kind of start with that. I'm going to drag it up. So right now, if you were to export this and bring this into um, Twin Motion Unreal um, Unity, you would see a lot of light leak when you looked at, from the inside of this cube. Um, if you had things like windows, you would notice that in the corners you'd have all this light leaking in. And that's just because you simply have six planes here making up the exterior of your building, and that's not going to cut it. Um, you know, you can play around with your lighting a lot. Um, playing around with dynamic lighting settings to get that or you can just start your project properly um, in order to avoid all that so let's go ahead and show you how to do that um, first thing I'm gonna do is make my cube editable and um, what we're gonna do is you know since I know these are gonna be my walls on the outside um, this will eventually be my ceiling and this will be my floor I'll show you how to kind of set up that hierarchy so that you're in good shape for making your your room or building model here so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the uh, polygon mode here and I'm just going to hit control A and select everything and I'm going to right click. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab this uh, extrude and I'm going to make sure that I have create caps on. I'm going to make sure that my maximum angle is over 90 degrees and I'm just going to drag it out. Something like that. Okay. Um, and you're not going to see anything happen. But essentially what I just did, if I do it in reverse, is you'll see it's disappearing. Um, and if I go to my hidden line here, I should, sorry, let's go to my, uh, just my lines. You'll see that I have a cube now inside of a cube. And this is gonna fix your, um, your light leaking right away. Because what I have is a cube inside of a cube, but I really have also um, attached these by extruding them and so it's grabbed the corners and it's brought inside the box. Now, if you don't want to um, to have it set up so that um, this may not work for you if you're creating a door, or you don't want this step down, then that's fine. What you can do is from the start, um, you can hit Control A, and let's actually first just select what we know is going to be our ceiling, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to separate this by just hitting Split. And now you'll see that I've got a new cube here and I'm just gonna name this ceiling. And then I'm gonna go back to my original cube and make sure that I get rid of that polygon. So now that's not part of my model. If I go back to my shading and I turn off my ceiling, there it is, my ceiling is standalone. We'll do the same thing with the floor. Let's grab this, let's go ahead and split it. And then let's go back to our original model and let's get rid of the floor. Now, like same thing, if we hide this, oops, you'll see that my floor is gone. So, let's make sure that we name this the floor as well, as we did similar to the ceiling. And now what we can do is just grab our cube and hit Control A, and it's only going to select the walls. So, why don't we just go ahead and name this the walls. And now we can go back to Extrude, and we can drag this out. And now you'll see that I've basically just dragged out a little corner there. Um, 
and you can use this for you know like creating like your gutters or whatever you want um, but that's just gonna help this is really just for setting up your interior so now you've set it up in a way that um, you won't get that light leak and so what we can do is if we grab another cube uh, this is just gonna represent I'm just gonna go back to hidden line it's easier to see everything this is gonna represent our windows so I'm gonna drag this to the uh, outside here and I'll, maybe I'll go into my one of my other views here let's go to my front view and let's just drag out a couple of these and I'm going to grab my bool and I want my walls inside of that and then I'm also going to bring these two cubes in which I'll make editable um, I don't have to and then I'm going to group these by just right clicking go down to group or you can hit alt G and then we're going to bring this in below the wall now you can see this is also going to help you create windows that have depth you don't have to mess around with cutting a rectangle and extruding things this will make it much simpler for you um, to create that window um, so I've cut that and what we can do is we can then just go ahead and make this all editable and I'm still gonna have these cubes which are useful in kind of adding more detail to your um, to your window so what I can do here is I can do the same thing I just did I'm gonna right click in polygon mode control a let's right click let's go to extrude and let's extrude this in a little bit and then I can just bring this back oops make sure I have my whole item selected there and I can just bring this back and set this in and now I've got a pretty realistic look looking little uh, window feature here and we can even make this stand out a little bit more oops I need to uh, go and uh, line this to my axis center so let's reset it I don't know why it's not doing it let's ignore that uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna resize this a little bit and drag this back in so that it's kinda so give a nice little shadow on the inside and on the outside so I've got a little bit of depth and now if you you know if you're gonna add something like a, uh, a reflective material um, what you could do is we could hide this and then we're gonna go back to our walls and we're just gonna connect now using the bridge tool the bridge function um, we're gonna put our window glass on this inside line so what I'm just gonna do is go click right click and we're looking for a bridge and I'm just gonna drag this to right there and that's gonna represent my window glass so if we bring this back so I still have my nice frame um, which why don't we just call this window frame in case you want to give it its own texture and then we're gonna click on walls and we're gonna go back to polygon mode we're gonna click the one we just created by bridging it and we're gonna split it and let's just call this window glass Cool. So we've got everything we need to kind of get use. This is kind of the best way I've found at least. And forgive me if people have a much better way out there, which I'm sure it exists. But this is one way at the very least to, uh, to really make some quality windows in no time flat. So we've got a frame. We've got a nice depth here with a wall that's not going to light leak. And we've got our window glass. So I just wanted to show you that. That's a quick tutorial. I uh, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.